piano the other night. It was really fun. I was going to play a last one on guitar, but I won't play a last one on the piano because it was really fun. <laughs> song to play in Claremont because of all the places you might grow up and of all the bad things you might say about the Inland Empire, the chances that your style was really crimped by religious fundamentalism are slim. <laughs> it exists, and in fact, the thing that happens to our narrators and our, and our subjects at the end of this song did happen to a Mormon friend of mine, where he uh, woke up one morning a junior in high school, ready to go to school and hang out with his girlfriend, Allison. But the elders were waiting for him because his family didn't like the direction his life had taken. He woke up the next morning in Utah. His girlfriend was bombed. in a lot of places around the country. And I went on to work with a lot of kids who were the kids who'd been sent away someplace. I'll tell you a little story. I admitted a kid to a unit one time who looked a lot like me at 14. Scrawny, scrawny, scrawny kid. Long hair. Who liked heavy metal. And I was doing the admission paper. When you admit somebody, they show up. You take their clothes away stuff away and you put it in a cubby and you tell them they can have it back once you feel that they won't hurt themselves with their walk. <laughs> and then you sit in the dining area with a 14 year old kid insecure about his body and now sitting in a robe in front of an adult he's never seen before a couple minutes ago. And I ask my dude, you know, what's your name? What's going on with you, you know? Um, and he was all wrong and scrawny. And I said, um, did, did you know you were coming here today? He looks up at me. He says, no. <laughs> but they did what they train you to do. You ask people to share their feelings. And I said, well, well, well how, how do you feel about being here? And he fixed me with a look that I hope to Christ I remember on my deathbed. I think it sucks! <laughs> the best ever death metal band out of Denver was a couple of guys who had been friends since grade school. One was named Cyrus, and the other was Jeff, and they would practice twice a week in Jeff's bedroom. Practice really hard. death metal band out of Denton never settled on a name but the top three contenders after weeks of debate were Satan's fingers and corpulent pestilence and the hospital bombs Cyrus believed in their hearts that they were headed for stage lights and Lear jets and fortune and fame so in script that made prominent use of a pentagram they'd stencil their drum heads and their guitars with their names and this was how Cyrus got sent to the school where they told him he would never be famous and this was why Jeff in the letters he'd write to his friend helped develop a plan to get even when you punish a person for dreaming his dream don't expect him to thank or forgive you Death metal band out of ten will in time both outpace and outlive you. Sing it. Hail Satan! Hail Satan! Tonight, hail Satan! Hail sweet prince of all flesh! Hail, 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 hail! Thank you, 
so much. Good night.